Alright, welcome back to this video, guys. Since my trailer bl video blew up, holy shit, by the way, I decided to make a breakdown video of, of it. Okay, first things first. Uh, I basically cheated a lot to make everything look very Fortnite-ish. As you can see, this doesn't very look very good in other angles. This is basically just one wall and this doesn't move. Yeah, it's not it's not as noticeable in the final product, but it's still there. So this is basically how I first started off. Uh, I, I made a boat, uh, I imported it, and for this boat I made my whole own shader. My own shader. And well, I kept on using this shader because, well, it's good for animation. As you can see, I placed a few cameras around this scene to switch between. This is pretty convenient because I can just switch between these cameras without having to move one camera all the time. So basically I set up the animation first, just animating it. And by the way, I don't think this is my best work. And I can, I think I can do way better than this. Because I just made this in six hours. It was basically a concept. It wasn't even the final product until I uploaded those few screenshots. And everyone went crazy about it. Okay, so I animated Jonesy. And, well, he had some... Uh, there was some cheating, let's let's put it that way. So, basically, right here, to make him look more, well, saturated or con contrasted from the background, I had to make him be in inside of the center of the screen. Um, let's unhide everything. So, I did that, and if he was too close to the wall, it would reflect too much and then the background because the background I didn't make that myself it I just basically took a picture from the trailer from the I think season 3 trailer yeah and just put that behind this and created some sort of fake reflection in Da Vinci Resolve so I animated him and as you can see right here at this point he just kind of teleports out of his boat right there to this point where he is going to touch the wall and that kind of shocks him and as you can see this basically he waits until he gets shocked because that when he gets shocked you, do, you don't want him to instantly pull back you want to wait for the audience to realize that he's been shocked so there's that and this lightning basically is just some lightning i took from the files and distorted a little bit so that it would interact with his finger and i took this frame out because it looked weird now in these, the, uh, in these scenes I used motion blur, well that's because it would just look better with the lighting. Okay so the wall I just did with a few nodes, uh, which include a wave texture, a brick, brick texture, uh, this doesn't really matter because that, that only comes in the break scene where he breaks the wall. Uh, as you can see, it kind of distorts the wall when you turn it on, and this is this is the effect I used for when he actually breaks the wall. You might not have noticed that, but it's there. This water is also just a few nodes. It, nothing in here is actually nearly nothing in here is actual geometry. So what I did here was just a simple put up the metallic, and that metallic really sold the look of. It being Fortnite is water. So if you go anti-metallic, that looks basically the same as the wall and we didn't want that. So I pulled it up and then it looked more like the water Midas was uh, floating on. Another thing you might have noticed is that the sand disappears when I go into look dev mode. That's because this sand is not actual ge geometry and it is it has a displacement map that only works when you go into cycles. And for the background, I just took a few things from the files, a few props, and just, there we go. Just, there we go, that, that, and the sand just kind of filled that up. I didn't add too much detail to the, to the sand because you wouldn't see that anyway. Look, the, the background is really blurred out so that I could just grab another screenshot from the season three trailer and put it behind this. That's why you might see weird blue glow around the edges in the final product. For compositing, I used a really simple setup, actually. So uh, I kind of 
use a different setup for the mist all the time because well mist mist is amazing and Labrador doesn't seem to get it if we go ahead and select there we go we go into this thing and then we go mist there you can see we basically are generating fake volumetrics which is really good for your PC there we go that's awesome and that's kind of how I made the background differ from the foreground a bit so that you would focus on Jonesy and not on the background. So right after Jonesy does the punch move, which by the way, yeah, I know it's stretched out. Okay, yeah, so I've noticed a lot of you guys noticed that. Okay, so this arm, <laughs> look how he's standing by the way, when you don't animate the feet, and the legs, well, you don't you just don't animate them. Uh, a lot of you guys actually noticed that uh, I kind of <laughs> kind of skilled up the arm to make it look more convincing when he punches the camera or the, the wall. And I thought the motion blur would well fix that up, but it didn't. So now we're here at the break scene where he breaks the wall, and there's a lot there's a lot of shit actually going on in this scene. Uh, that you might not have noticed. For for example, this whole thing disassembles. Oh no, it doesn't really. It's just two object objects. Okay, my bad. But this thing does disassemble. I d basically did this using a cell fracture. So I basically used a quick effect cell fracture with by drawing. Let, let's take a. So basically, what I did here was I killed up a wall like that, then drew. Oh my god. Then Drew, why I wanted Jonesy to punch just like this and I wanted to, the wall to break like that. Then you subdivide this thing just a tiny little bit and add a cell fracture to it with an annotation pencil turned on. Let me set this up to 300 and this 2.2. Great, yeah, okay, this doesn't really work, but you kind of have a pattern that resembles the annotation pencil, and that's what I did here, just with a higher poly mesh. And added a thingy, uh, where is it? This is a sphere? Oh, this sphere right here. This sphere prevented these parts from entering Jonesy's body, uh, uh, because we don't want any collisions, right? No, we don't. So this sphere is basically there to stop uh, these chunks uh, to collide with Jonesy. Let's set that to bounce. And this thing bro basically breaks the wall. So it's not actually Jonesy breaking the wall. It's this very pointy bullet thingy. And you can see in the background, there's this kind of star looking shape getting bigger. And that basically sold the effect of something is something is growing behind there or something that, that this shit, all the shit was cracking. And as you can see right here, uh, I, I, I made this distortion effect uh, doing the same technique I showed you earlier, but just a little more complicated. Uh, it, it, it basically, this basically means that, that you, uh, that, that there's a gradient that forms a circle and that basically makes a shockwave and the idea of it is that it breaks the wall. Now I brighten up this scene a lot in the final product. Oh, set that back to bounce. I brighten up the scene a lot in the final product because, well, the animation was very janky. And I, again, I didn't spend a lot of time making this, so uh, cropped out as much as I could. Could. And as you can see here, he kind of waggles his arms and goes to try to grab the camera just like this. Wonk, but he gets sucked in. And then it goes all to all white. And then we have this scene where Jonesy just kind of goes ah. And I and I did do a reference by the way. And I'll, I'll I'm not going to show that on screen because well, I'm not ready for a face reveal. Okay. <laughs> so I basically took a reference and then I animated from that reference and put it on Jonesy right here. So I basically what he's doing right now I did that beforehand and then I just kind of animated that. Uh, as you can see how this looks right here it, this other Jonesy is just kind of sunk into the ground and doesn't move at all until he just moves up and casts a shadow onto this Jonesy and which makes him look up and then go whoa <laughs> and then and at that moment the camera switches there we go to this Jonesy by the way I uh, the lighting I did here was very interesting so um, at first I had very harsh lighting because I wanted him to uh, in 
What the hell? Oh yeah, yeah. I wanted to get his hands in front of his eyes. I'm not sure why not, it's not working here. Oh yeah, I basically I used I used for every scene I used the sky texture for lightning lighting, because basically that's the closest thing thing you can get in Blender to what uh, Unreal Engine's sky lighting looks like. I'm not sure why the animation has gone lost in this, so I'll animate it for you real quick. So. Right here, it's going to be okay to put that at 90, but right here we have to set that to, I think, zero. Yeah, that's that's how it looked like. So basically what happens here is what I did was I uh, kind of had very harsh lighting here so that he would be blinded by the lights and kind of put his hand in front of the sun so that it wouldn't be blinded by it. And then this show, Jonesy uh, kind of slides in front of him. Whee! And then the lighting uh, and the lighting turns all soft. But this arm moves very janky and I'm not sure why I did that. And in the final shot that doesn't look very great either. So uh, I did that and basically I uh, so so I didn't animate in this scene a lot uh, either so I cannot kind of shut went to this shot and I wanted to make some more interactive things going on here but I decided to just close off the project because I was spending too much time on it and I had to go do shit for school. Uh, so how do you end? something so dramatic very quickly throw a chest on his head and and uh, this is very hard to notice but jo this jonesy actually reacts to that he goes on. also one one interesting thing this chest right here is actually very stretched out uh this is a, a smear te technique you used in you use in animation why did i not just do this with motion blur well i can show you okay right here so uh, basically, if I just let the chest be as it was and not, not stretched out, this motion blur would be would make the chest unrecognizable, as if it just kind of nothing, almost nothing, raced through the air and hit him. So in this scene, I didn't use motion blur at all. I uh, just stretched the chest out so <laughs> so that it would hit him in his head and then just bonk. Okay, so in this scene, I think I used this plane right here. Uh, for the materials, I used a simple... Uh, I used just a simple noise texture and a bump texture to make this wowy reflection. And for the rest, I made it a shadow catcher so that it would cast a shadow. And a reflection, kind of, sort of. And in the final thing, I removed this and that left a very noticeable black stripe and I'm not sure why that's there in the final thing but it's there and I regret it so um at, and I basically put this on a white background after I rendered it now let's take one more look at the lighting because it's really freaking simple it's basically just one node that lights this whole scene and it's this single sky texture node with the air turned down the ozone turned up so that it would mm, have a more beautiful blue shadow and the dust turned up just a little bit and there are also apparently 10,000 feet in the sky same goes for this scene basically just this uh, world note that um, world note that just has the ozone turned up by a lot the air turned turn down the altitude set at 10,000 and a very soft and big sun and I really had to mess around with the reflections to not bring that sun into, well, the water reflecting, for reflecting. Because if you can, as you can see right there, there's this huge as sun that I had to animate so that it wouldn't get in, into the, so that it wouldn't directly shine into the camera and brighten up the whole scene. So yeah, that has been my breakdown. I hope you liked it and see you next time.